It shoots. It scores. Robots and their humans from 37 countries are competing at the RoboCup 2007 at Georgia Tech. While these students are very smart, so are their bots. Those robots also communicate. For example, if one has the ball, then it commu communicates to its teammates, I have the ball, please go away. The goal of this competition is to morph these sports skills into everyday tasks. All these features can be used in order to, to develop robots that can be used in daily life, for example, or even work in, many fac in, in factories uh, where they can cooperate to, to produce a product. Younger students bonded with their robots for some performance art, even a little robot rap. And for the first time ever, microscopic robots are competing. A standard soccer ball would be out of the question. So what do these tiny bots do? The two millimeter dash is the first qualifying run that all of the micro robots have to do. Once they clear that, they move through a slalom course. And finally, in the third competition, they demonstrate their ability to manipulate objects in the micro domain with a ball handling drill. And don't be surprised if someday your doctor uses some of these tools, perhaps for delicate surgery. Competitors know they're on the cutting edge. A lot of this is about pushing the technology. So there aren't very many teams in the, in the world or, or research groups in the world that can really move robots at this scale. It allows us to be a little bit more creative and, and solve simpler problems on the way to solving more complicated tasks. Bonnie Schneider, CNN, Atlanta.